We're going to be talking about childhood games and great musical stories with my all musical guests today on Roundtable. I'm your host, Michael Roberts. Tonight, my introductions for my guests were specifically written by one of the guests. I will let you figure out who it is. A man who to once faked truth. being Christian to bed two-thirds of Destiny's Child, Mr. Bocephus King. One of my next guests stands, one of, what? One of my next guests stands with such intellectual giants as Hegel, Hegel, Kant, Kaczynski, and of course, Al Waxman. Hey, there you Ladies are. and gentlemen, the lovely Aaron Chapman. Thank you very much, Mike. To my right, you actually wrote that in. To my right, yeah. <laughs> and I did this because I'm an actor. I didn't even yeah, have like right. move hand to the right. A beautiful human and an absolute humanitarian who recently volunteered as a human shield in the American invasion and subsequent occupation of Michael Jackson's Neverland, Mr. Tony Baloney. You're beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. They had to get the marshals in to get me out of there. Too. <laughs> <laughs> the rides. Was it the rides that came Yeah, well, it was up that tree, too. We oh, that yeah. 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 Singing Ben. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Ben, Billie Jean is not yeah. your lover. <laughs> it's so coincidentally, all, all three of my guests are, are musicians, singer, songwriter, musicians, guys. There you go. Stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. So why don't we talk about something that has something to do with what you guys do, which is drinking, spending, no. yeah, <laughs> we're talk about, Dirt. Uh, yeah, spending a lot of time on the road. Yes. So I mean, is it a fun thing to do? Is it a, is it a, is it an entertaining thing to do, or what? He just got back from four months. Four on months. The road, so I'll let him start. Well, I, I'm In Canada. Feel, I've, I've, four months. In Canada and Europe, the United States. All oh, right. But I feel weird because I've actually performed with both these guys in bands, so I don't want to tell like too many dirty stories or anything. Because <laughs> well, well, I feel like I'll, yeah, the, well, yeah, I'll refer to like pseudonym names and quotes. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean it, it's watching. it's a it's a strange. <laughs> Tony Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's a strange way to uh, to make a it's, you know it's different. It's not like working in a bank. It's you know you're, there's a traveling aspect of it and whatnot. And because you're in a van, mm -hmm. not in a bank. In a bank. That's, that's the, the only thing. That's 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 a, see, that's the difference. But the big amounts but, of money the same, isn't it? Sure Sometimes is. you go into the bank when you're on the road. Yeah. But it's an odd. It's an odd way to. It's difficult for maybe people to understand. Like you know, because people think it's either way more colorful than it is, or it's way more boring than it is. I think it's way more. It's, it's boring. It's, no, it's, 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 it's yeah. right in the middle. It's right in the middle. That's yeah, right in the middle. Right so it's like a middle. job then. It puts at some yeah, point you guys. It is. It is like a job, but yeah. it's like a job where you. Uh, I don't know what you would compare it to, but you, you sit in a van with a lot of people you don't even necessarily like for hours on end. Yeah, it's you're like a sciatic nerve basically. Yeah, it's sciatic nerve gets crazy. And when you read those, so when, it's more like a bus driver. When you read those old yeah. stories of the vaudeville entertainers, and we're like, well, we went to Kalamazoo, and then we went to Florida. And like, that's what it's that's, like. It's, it hasn't changed. Show to show to yeah. show to show. It hasn't show, changed. It's like, oh, this yeah. is that town with the guy with the wooden leg and the dog with the skin disease. Yeah. <laughs> Remember yeah. that guy? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. this is where that girl, she swallowed uh, the whole the whole softball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, so it's always, yeah, it's always like that. There's always some, and that aspect of it hasn't changed. Other sort of maybe professions have, or there's, yeah. you know, like, but you're still going out, you're still on the road, and that's, you know, and you're, you get paid in cash on the barrel. Yeah. You know, like, well, I hope no one from Revenue Canada. <laughs> and you but, declare it all. And you declare every dollar. Right? <laughs> that's right, I give it all to charity as well. Have you had to uh, open for... Oh, hell Big, yeah. Big, huge oh. acts that we might we know of for, and I opened for Doug stories. and the Slugs. Yeah, <laughs> and I opened for Doug and the Slugs, and uh, we broke into the change room thinking, this is Doug and the Slugs. He used to be big in the 70s. He's going to for sure have some kind of shit, some stuff in here we're going to be able to... To, uh, you know, stick in something and get a little wacky. <laughs> and, uh, and what did he have? He had Rolaids in his, uh, in his dressing room. That's what he'd ordered. He ordered Rolaids. And uh, his uh, rider consisted of uh, 
Seriously, like like Pepto Bismol <laughs> and uh, X Lax and Japan's undergarments. Now you're spoiling. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. He was making it work in his pants. Apparently. <laughs> oh, there you go. It was terrible, and we opened for. Uh, I one time had Jerry Doucette, you know, Mama Let That Boy play sure. some rock and roll. The I was playing loose. in this lounge when I was 16. These years are all old. Canadian content bands. Now. Yes, yeah. well, I'm trying to stick to the Canadian <laughs> content of the show. Yeah. I thought. That was no, it. that's great. Yeah. I appreciate and, uh, it. So Jerry Doucette comes into this lounge, and I'm making my own drink, and he'd formerly been employed at this uh, establishment, and he was on the outs now with the uh, with the lady who ran it, Irene, <laughs> and uh, getting personal. Well, okay, I'll that's change right. your name with Sabine. There and his you name go, is Barry better. Doucette. <laughs> and uh, so uh, he can't, I'm making myself a drink, and I wasn't even of age to be in there at this time. And uh, he comes in and he wants a drink, but he can't have one for whatever reason. The waitress says no. So he takes a beer bottle and tosses it at my app, and it breaks. And his name's Jerry. So he's yelling, What about Jerry? What about Jerry? <laughs> what about Jerry? So I duck under the counter, I go, that's it, Jerry, I'm following the cops. I dial 911, but he's yanked the cord out, and I don't realize he's yanked the cord out of the wall. I'm like, that's it, it's ringing. They're reaching. <laughs> Police? I'd like, to, well, it's Jerry, mama let the boy play some rock and roll. It's Jerry Doucette, he's attacking me. He's pulling the, the deuce is out. loose, you gotta stop <laughs> the him. The deuce is loose. The deuce is even looser. Yeah. And, uh, that was a funky he winter left. Games, <laughs> Yeah. He left and I was still cowering under the table as he left. That's it, they're coming. Uh, they're on their way. <laughs> Woo! Brushes with greatness? Uh, I played with the Ramones. Oh, no way. There you wow. go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Tried to get that? them back to the house for the party. I was living in the snake pit with uh, Art Bergman and a bunch of wow. ne'er do wells at the time. And uh, Dee Dee was all about it. He's like, I want to go to the snake pit, Joey. Come on. And he's like, I don't want to go to the snake pit, Dee Dee. <laughs> Going back to the hotel <laughs> for Joey? some new hoes and, and pizza. So. But, uh, that was that's incredible. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was a yeah. uh, long time ago when wow. the Ramones were. Wow. I think we found a moment to actually. I'm that the Bocivas King is in stunned yeah, silence. I am stunned. <laughs> we will be back roundtable and see if it lasts. All right, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Roundtable. I'm your host, Michael Roberts. We're talking music with some musicians, Placebus King, Aaron Chavin, and Tony Maloney. Oh, he fell asleep yeah. in this No, class. he's all right. He's like one of those little birds. Yeah, like the drinking duck there. Yeah. There he is. But, you know, I, I read, I mean, this has happened a while back, but I just read that Creed broke up. Oh, and could you no, read that? Right? Any unimportant news? In the <laughs> <laughs> it was in the, <laughs> the useless it was information. In the, it was in the Christian Science the Christian Monitor. Science it, was, it, was, it, was, it was in the entertainment section of the Creed, Christian they, Science who, Monitor. Who snuck their Christianity upon the world. Well, that goes they their didn't. music page, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> what are they going to talk about now? Back to Pat Boone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> But I just thought about what bands do you you know are you are you tired of or musicians like you just like go away. Get Ryan Adams. I know a lot of people like him, but that sort of uh, the the alt country impression of uh, right. Graham Parsons everyone's doing these days. I could do with less of that. More yeah, of the real thing. What about that girl who had the milkshake in the yard or whatever that? You know, I that love was that. Like, My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> yeah, like, it's better than <laughs> yours. <laughs> Damn right. It's oh, better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Yeah. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah. I, was just, I was trying to find it when it was already gone. It's amazing that bands can even stay together long enough to, because music would be so disposable. They're not really, bands really aren't supposed to stick around for too long. No. Anymore, it seems. You know, like you got a sort of a five year window and you'll be around and then it's like, it's supposed to dissolve. Who's you know, that band, that her, guy that you're friends with? That's uh, that's that sort of phony intellectual guy who. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and his name's and his name's his last name's ironic. Oh, Matthew Good. Oh, Matthew oh, Good. <laughs> Matthew Good. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, it's a situation, you know, back like... the Canadian content. Yeah. I like just ate Canadian <laughs> band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who does it? In a dis Celine Dion neck. Well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I sort of, it's already sort of made the point, just that there's oh. a band that hasn't really, it's not supposed to stick around long enough, and you won't find, there will be no more Rolling Stones that it would be around for that 30 long. years yeah. or something. There yeah. won't be, there's not the... Oh, there's not, couldn't you, happen, there's you, those guys couldn't happen in the away. first place. 
Well, they'll be they the will yeah. be doing their steel wheelchairs tour. Yeah. Well, and, I know, uh, but he he's saying I think uh, is that there would be a new thing like that, and that's probably true because the industry isn't set up for anything original yeah. to happen. Yeah. It just doesn't like it. You so, made the yeah. point even a while ago with the, the it's amazing thing with the amount of outside of like rock music or punk or anything like that, with like hip hop, uh, that the amount of like CDs that any of like hip hop artists, like major hip hop artists sells, if any of these guys had a somewhat of a political agenda at all. Yeah, they like, could or actually. If, if Jay-Z suddenly turned into Bono yeah. and said, well, like, we gotta answer third world debt, yeah. there would be so many people that would be tuned into this that these guys, there's never that sort of yeah, agenda. Yeah, we so can't have Public Enemy. Because you know, you you, yeah. well, Public Enemy doesn't sell like these guys, and if they did in that point of view sold, you would, America would turn yeah, upside but, down because, because, yeah. because the, they rule the charts, but in politics, it's this opposite world there, and if actually Jay Z and Beyonce were to suddenly say, yeah, know, "Let's get rid of the sex," yeah, I never, saw, this person, I, I never heard this. a Public Enemy song on on MTV exactly. until, until Puff Daddy did it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Now it's okay because Puff Daddy doing it. But yeah. exactly. But if Puff Daddy was like less interested in his yacht and more interested in, you'd have something happen. Yeah. Who would you like to see back in the picture? Who would you like bands that maybe broke up or artists that, mm. that went away and you kind of went, you know, no, this person was really good and I don't well, know why Martin, they have not Canadian content. If you Martin and the Muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Margo <laughs> Beach, fall away in time. Echo Beach. And Devo, who else? Devo or something. Devo, I would yeah. love to well, see. They, they, he they does, still, he does the still do shows. He does the music for Wes Anderson movies. <laughs> yeah. Now Mark, a ton of stuff. Mark, Mark, yeah, Mark Mother's Boss still does a lot of stuff. A lot of great stuff. Devo, you're right. That would be a great band. And they still do shows apparently from now on then. Yeah. The and, police. Uh, the, the police, police would be a great band police, to get yeah. back together. That would be together. really interesting, wouldn't it, to see if it would develop together? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it would be. Yeah. It would they, they could play inside Sting, Sting, playing that stuff he's doing now well, with those guys, they, though. They, I, they I couldn't, couldn't imagine Stadium any Because that's what broke them up, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just Sting ego. So, I mean, yeah. it, it wouldn't change. Would the, band, it? the band that played on the, Titan the Titanic. Yeah, uh, that would yeah. be which, great. Is, which is also the hardest gig ever by any band. Yeah, as playing, it sunk, they as played. It I'd like played. to see those guys come back. Can't and compare that to World anything tour. any yeah. of you have done. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I played. I played, I've died on, I played. I've died on stage before. I've like died that. on stage before, and I played with people who've gone down on as much people as the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the band that I wanted to see, though, I said, I said this okay. before, but, but to me, was one of my favorite things. Rock Pile. Like, like Dave, Dave, Dave Edmonds and, and Nick, Nick Lowe. Lowe. Oh, I'd love to see yeah. that Because I thought it was just like they, they were so good together. Yeah. And then it was like, then they went their own ways, which yeah. is great somewhat. But, but Lenny, I thought together. Without Lenny Kravitz, what would they be? Hey, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'm with Lenny Kravitz. I'd like to see that. That would be good because he might sound good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Lenny Kravitz sounds so great. And if, if looks, brains, and personality don't count, he's awesome. And yeah. you better hope they don't. Yeah. I love Gap ads. <laughs> I yeah. love Gap ads. Oh, what are you, what are you doing, Gap ads? Ads? I'm doing a Gap guy. ad very soon. <laughs> Unfortunately, has, I'm doing a Gap tooth ad. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's true. It's the Alfred E. Newman clothing line. And, uh, David Letterman sweaters. That. It's very nice. It's uh, it's going to be good. It's got this big dance number. We're all in a white room, and it's actually Sarah playing Jessica. White Room from Cream. And Sarah Jessica Parker's in it as well. Like. Uh, no, uh, Sarah. Squeaky Frum's in it. Squeaky Frum oh. from the from the Manson Gang is in it. It yeah. is so wow. good because it's like we do this little tap dance number. Everyone gets out there and they start to go, and then in the middle of it, John Goodman comes up wearing nothing. It's so abstract <laughs> and weird. We're going to show you a clip from that when we come back to Roundtable. So stick around. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat>that brought me back to my childhood. There we go. That brought me back to my childhood. Which brings me back to the, the topic. Beach Boys. Childhood. Childhood toys and games. Oh. Favorite childhood toys and games are stuff you never got, stuff you wanted, you know. Well, we were so poor I had to draw pictures on rocks to juggle them and pretend they were cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I we had we had you remember this? You remember You're like this? a 75-year-old Jewish comedian right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh my God! Shecky. Everyone's a Maserati. Viagra. They, they, 
They had they had this game called Operation, which you might. Oh have yeah, yeah, I remember. And I still get that. Yeah. yeah, it's still out now, and in fact, I seen like a little sort of battery like version of it. But it had these little plastic bones. Yeah. Uh, and I think you'd take this little sort of scalpel like sort of thing and take them out. But like tweezers. I had got this game, and unbeknownst to me, I never seen the thing before. <laughs> the, the game the game had a, like a, the actual one that I had had a fault in it, it had a short so every time when you sort of touch the space and if you didn't get the bone and you touched the wall of the little guy's body in there and like that it would play a buzzer this game was defected and it actually had it grounded the whole thing and it gave me a shock <laughs> <laughs> 120 right now, <laughs> yeah now like electroshock electroshock therapy which is basically what it was since I was small enough that the whole thing was yeah. thinking, like was a, just a terrifying like thing and I thought this is the worst <laughs> yeah. the hideous game I have ever like because you didn't know it was a mistake. Because I didn't know it was a mistake, and it took me, it was like years before somebody else like, kind of tried it. You were probably like, pretty good at it. And somebody it, said, huh? yeah, like, so, oh, yeah. I had nerves of steel. I just thought I was going to get a job in the bomb squad, you know? Like, <laughs> your parents probably handed that down like from your older brother, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Like a hot wire there. Yeah, he had He'll be a doctor. <laughs> but now, I mean, you know, yeah, but now games are all like, they're all computer games and video yeah. games and stuff. Oh, like yeah, no, no. Yeah. no. Organic yeah. operation we used to have, yeah. which came with, uh, you got it from the SPCA, it came with a scalpel and a dog. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. I had, you know, the, the Hot Wheels. I liked that. Shit. You'd make the orange yeah. track and run it through what about the whole house. All the orange track. Or the evil, the evil Knievel one. Each other with it. <laughs> He's <laughs> a fighting <laughs> orange track. Oh my Mama God. Mama get mad. Yeah. Like, ah, ah, ah. It's true. We love, or recently the, we went and saw a prostitute and Aaron had her do that and I completely yeah. forgot yeah. about these I, things until he was tied up. And yeah, he was a Tyco track. I wanted to be hit with a Mattel Tyco track. That's familiar. <laughs> That's Hot Wheels. <laughs> oh, stop, baby, stop. <laughs> did you ever do the thing I always wanted? I never got because we we never had a gerbil or anything like that. <laughs> what? Where's this? Like, no, 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 wait a minute. Just was that all, right? all, those, all those row all those rows of tubing and piping and things that they get? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Rat, yeah. Most trap. Not most trap. No, but for no, for like your for pets. Your gerbil. I wanted a life size one of those. That would have been cool. That would have been yeah. amazing. You, you would have turned out completely but different. Mousetrap was amazing, <laughs> even though Mousetrap was the most ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous How do you game. Win? Because yeah. <laughs> if you don't get you have, the setup time, it's like the risk and reward in that game is completely out of balance. Uh, it's been forever setting up Mousetrap for the little man to dive off into the board. For I those unfamiliar with Mousetrap, set up Mousetrap. Okay, Mousetrap is you've got a problem. You've got pests in your house, right? And you get your dad to bring home this thing. He gets at a store. It's called a rat trap. You put some cheese or peanut butter on it. Well, this is real. No, oh, I'm not oh, in the game. Oh, 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 I'm going to I'm thinking this the guy game. knows more about the game than yeah. I remember. Oh, okay. I never remember okay. that. Okay, the game mousetrap is you get, uh, you get two or three kids from the neighborhood, uh, <laughs> preferably girls. You get a bottle. Is this the game? <laughs> no, it's a different one. Oh, the game, you built this huge contraption. You built a Rube yeah. Goldberg device. Yeah. See, you which you a little ball would. And, it looks like a mousetrap at the peony. Yeah, that, but that the is the only, at right the, very, the, only, the very, very end of the game to get to play that. Like, I think the, just one person gets caught in the mousetrap, and this guy goes off the diving board, a little cage comes down, and it catches you, and you're stuck for these the rest are all, of the game. And, and these are all like very subtly sort of psychological lessons, like yeah. the game Payday. Yeah, Payday. Payday had these. The game of life. You've got to be pink or blue. In, yeah. in the game of life. The game of yeah. life is what I'm thinking. And of if actually. you were gay, how did you fit in that? How game? did you fit into the game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't fit in the you game of life. You don't fit in the game yeah. of life. And I think you learn a little. Something. See, there's yeah. these weird, like, sort of subtle lessons of authority right. they're trying to Monopoly. Do. You learn Monopoly. 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 Capitalism. You learn a lot from Monopoly. I had a divorce over the game Monopoly. <laughs> yeah. My wife wouldn't give me a loan. This chick I was married to one time, and I thought I saw a part of her I just didn't like. Right. And that was it for the marriage. Well, and. I was, uh, I had all these. You had a hotel on Baltic Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah, remember any of these games? Games a lot of Do you remember any of these games? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to jump in on these guys. Oh, shit. Jump yeah. on me, Tony. Jump yeah. on me. I'm just going to let them go. You just <laughs> walk right into it. <laughs> okay, Tony, can we talk about your outfit? Did you ever have a, hey. uh, one of those? You remember those, uh, those cowboys that were made of plastic. Johnny West. Johnny West. Johnny West. Yeah. And there Johnny was like West, a little Jane and all like that. Johnny yeah. West. No, I they were heavy. Stuff, Those would hurt. Very yeah. heavy. They were really I used to put a toilet paper roll over Johnny West's head and paint like uh, Zulu symbols on him and make him like uh, <laughs> some kind of Zulu warrior. 
That's uh, a good idea. So that's not <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> it's, it's very multicultural. That's a terrible idea. But you idea. had that. I know a lot of people who had the Johnny West or yeah. had the, 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 the Indian guy. The whole wagon I got one time. Oh, I was just a oh, spoiled kid. I remember you. No, I was just about to say, nobody ever got the horse no, with the moving legs. My grandfather was a felon. I'm not joking. And he took, and he, took he shoplifted it. Oh, yeah. That's a big thing to shoplift. Yeah. He must have been good. I think it was a prize at a bingo table. Oh, that would have been easier and to get was, out. And he had something to do with the bingo game. Yeah. And he, I said, well, I really like that. And he came home with it. Wow. Yeah. That's one of the most beautiful <laughs> Christmas <laughs> memories I've ever heard. Boy, well, that guy was very it. nice. <laughs> we'll be back on Roundtable after this. Oh, it's that's good. sweet. He'll, he'll be out soon. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> Feeling with Johnny West. It's, it's true. <laughs>